Hello, I'm Troy Deitmeyer, I'm field agronomist for DuPont Pioneer here in Northeast Iowa. Today is April 22nd, and we are in one of our test plots here in Delaware County that got planted here just a few days ago. Been getting a lot of calls, guys wondering about the window of planting as we're running into some weather challenges and some rainfall and things like that. So just wanted to kind of go over a few things and maybe it's some tips on some things to do here over the next few days as we hopefully get back into the fields. So one of the things I just want to tell guys is, is it's you know April 22nd, so we don't need to hit the panic button yet. Generally, we can still uh, obtain maximum yields all the way through the 1st of May. We start to see a slight decrease in yields after the 1st of May, and then that decrease picks up after the 10th of May, and then really picks up again for corn and soybeans after the 20th of May. So we do have some time. So you know, we don't have to panic yet and uh, be too overly concerned that we're running a little bit behind. Now, some areas in Northeast Iowa received a lot of rainfall and some didn't receive hardly any. So we got some people currently planting here this Saturday and others that are probably gonna be waiting for another day or two. And on Tuesday, we have a forecast coming of maybe some, some rain. And a lot of times we, you know, get hesitant to plant right before rain. And I guess a lot of it depends on soil temperature. So if our soils are, you know, 50 degrees plus, obviously we wanna see you guys planting corn. Um, when it comes to a rainfall event, it really kind of depends on how much rain we're gonna get and where the soil temperatures are at before the rain. So we're forecasted to have some really nice weather here over the next few days. Uh, current soil temperature here actually in this no-till field was uh, 49 degrees here uh, as we're recording this. So we're sitting in pretty good shape. I would anticipate by uh, Tuesday when the rain does come, we're probably gonna be in the upper 50s. And so anytime that we see uh, temperatures you know toward that upper 50 range we can probably plant pretty close up to that rainfall event the corn corn seeds really like about 24 hours above 50 degrees before we really start to see any cold injury to, to the to the germination process now if you're more in the northern part of northeast iowa and our soil temperatures are only right at 50 degrees right before that rainfall comes that's probably when we want to stop planting you know 12 to 24 hours before that rainfall event occurs so just kind of a little bit of a tidbit there. Obviously, the warmer it is, the, the better off we are, the closer we can plant to that rain event and not see near as much uh, stand loss as we did maybe a few years ago when we did that. Now, one of the things that I do want to talk to you guys about too is uh, planting depth and down pressure. And I do have some examples here from last year from some of the plots that we did. And if the camera wants to come in, there's a couple things that I want to point out and talk about. One here, one of the things that people like to do when they say the soil is cold is they like to maybe plant a little bit shallower because they say, well, I want the corn to come up quicker. And that's actually probably one of the worst things that you can do. When you think about how we get a really good stand of corn is in the germination process of a seed, there's two things that are really important. One is uniform soil moisture for the seed to soak up. The other thing is uniform temperature. And we want essentially, just like us, if we get cold, you know, we want an extra blanket on. And think of that extra blanket as another half to three quarter inch of soil to, to buffer those temperature swings. One of the things that we don't want is a whole bunch of temperature fluctuations. And the shallower we plant, the more temperature fluctuations that we get. So here's a good example of a one inch planting depth uh, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and all the way up to three and a half. And you can obviously see we do have uh, some yield reduction from two inches on down. And I really think for us in Northeast Iowa, we should really shoot for a two and a quarter to two and a half for uh, our final seeding depth, for sure no less than two. Not only do we see it in our ears, but if you go ahead and you take a look at our stock diameter and our root mass, so here we have an inch and a half depth, a two inch depth, and then a three and a half inch depth. And you know, look what happened to our stock diameter here when we got down to an inch and a half. We lost a lot of roots. And if you notice the difference between these two plants right here, we lost a whole ring of nodal roots. And this is just a half inch difference in planting depth. So um, my 20 years of walk in the field says, if you're gonna err, err on the side of deeper. If you're checking your seeding depth as you go through and uh, maybe you're reloading the planter and you're looking, looking at things, and you're kind of questioning whether or not you're deep enough, go ahead and set her an extra notch, maybe even two notches deeper. 
Now, one of the things also that I talked about is, um, you know, we, we're probably going to be pushing conditions here just a little bit as fields get fit, and we're going to probably, you know, try to get in the field before this next rain event. So, one of the things that we can do is adjust our down pressure, and I, I realize that, you know, we we can't wait for be like Goldilocks and everything be perfect, the porridge be just right. Uh, you know, we're going to have to plant probably into some maybe somewhat unfavorable conditions here. It seems like it happens every year. But one of the things that you can do as if you are planting into wet conditions is really pay attention to the uh, down pressure. And here's some examples of our down pressure studies that we've been doing here this past year. Um, you can see here, this was actually a corn on corn situation with wet soils. And you can see as we had heavy down pressure versus the correct down pressure, you can see what it did to our ear size as well as the difference in roots. And you can see right here we have our sidewall compaction. Um, you know, you can see that the roots are, are compacted and together our tomahawk roots is what we call it. And actually just a few rows over by changing our down pressure, you can see that we actually had some really nice root development and, um, you know, ended up with a pretty decent ear of corn. Now what is interesting is this field was planted as a uh, little bit wetter conditions like I pointed out. We have the same hybrid right over here uh, planted, actually it's a no-till corn on soybean, but it was an excellent condition. And you can kind of see we were a little bit more forgiving on the, on the seeding depths. Um, we still obviously lost yield when we were less than two. But the other thing that was interesting is we were more forgiving on the down pressure, obviously, when things were dry. So just, just to point home, there is no perfect down pressure. It is field specific. But you can see the difference in our root mass here on this side where we had good conditions versus over here where we didn't have good conditions. Even a two inch, two and a half, three inch planting depth here resulted in this kind of root mass when we had wet conditions versus over here, you know, two and a half, three inch, you can see the huge difference in root development. So just some things, one thing to really keep in mind that you need to be out there checking is your down pressure when we're in these wet kind of, kind of, you know, marginal conditions, I guess if you would call it that. One of the things that I'll show you guys that I like to do when I'm out and about um, trying to gauge down pressure and how well we're doing or not is just uh, take a little stick or your uh, pliers or tool or screwdriver or whatnot that you have and just do some digging and I, I guess what I'd like to do is I'd like to dig across the uh, across the roll versus down in. So I just kind of like to get down in here and kind of do some flopping and you can see here this stuff is breaking apart uh, fairly well and if we do have sidewall compaction you won't really see, you'll see this, it'll come up in slabs and I think over here I found a little spot here just before um, where we were digging and you can actually see this was in a little bit of the heavier down pressure. And when I start flipping this, you can kind of see how we're starting to come up with chunks. And then the other thing is, see this smeared sidewall right here, how this is completely straight edge, just like we cut a knife through butter compared to the, where I showed you before, how it kind of crumbled apart. So obviously our heavier down pressure setting in this slot right here is really going to make a huge difference and you're going to end up with some tomahawk roots. So again, just be sure to check that down pressure, kind of come across here and things like that. And hopefully you don't see these chunks and these slabs like you see right here. If you are, obviously we need to adjust the down pressure to uh, lighten the load. And if you do start getting row unit bounce, about the next best thing then is to just uh, slow down maybe uh, half a mile an hour and allow that uh, lower down pressure setting to work. So with that, I wish you guys some great planting, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.